Oh, look at this tender texture, this Christopher Roy right here. Oh, we go ourselves over with a Oh, God! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! <laughs> I'm Jesse Brookshire. I'm Sam Johnson. Welcome to another episode of Sons of Scullery. We have a butter lettuce, grilled chicken wrap with a yogurt citrus slaw and a Fresno sauce. Next to that we have our cold kidney bean salad with some fresh grape tomatoes and some Oaxacan cheese. Here we have our bean medley for our cold bean salad. So we have kidney beans of the red and white variety and some small red beans. So what Sam's going to do is he's going to soak these in some water. We're going to let those soak for a full day. That way once we start cooking them, they cook a lot faster. Straight into the water right here. All right, now we're going to take these beans and put them into the fridge for an overnight setting. Right. Nice beans. Now those are good. This is our finished product. Our beans are cooked. What we did is let them set for 24 hours soaking in water and then we cooked them for 45 minutes in salted water. This is our finished product and they are perfect. If you can smash them in your hand, they're done. Okay. So the first thing you want to get going for this roasted garlic pepper sauce is you're going to want to roast your garlic. What you do is cut off the tail right there. Go ahead and throw it into a pan. You're going to add I mean about a teaspoon of oil over the top here. You can use any kind of oil, olive oil, canola oil, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna do a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And that's gonna go into an oven at 350 degrees. Now that we've got our finished product of the garlic here that's been roasted, we're gonna go ahead and declove it. So what you're gonna do is you put it in your hand right there and just squeeze out the garlic cloves. They should just come out right <laughs> like that. That's the money right there. And that's what we're looking for. Now we're going to start breaking down some of the vegetables for our carrot cabbage slaw. Right now we're going to core this half of a red cabbage. So basically what you're going to want to do is come straight down in a triangular motion. Just pull that right out of there. And cut it in half and just start dicing. It's nice thinly sliced cabbage. While he's doing that, I'm going to get our carrots. We got some peeled carrots here. So what we want to do is julienne these. What I'm going to do is cut off a piece so that these don't roll around on me so I can start cutting some nice planks. You can do this on a mandolin too. So that right there is what we're looking for. It's a beautiful little matchstick julienne. Now that Jesse's done with those carrots, we're going to go ahead and throw them in this bowl with our diced slaw. Next up, we're going to make our sauce for our slaw. So what Sam's got here is a little bit of this beautiful, fresh oregano. Oregano's uh, got a great earthy flavor, so it's used a lot in Italian cooking, also in uh, Latin cuisine. We're dealing with a little yogurt there. We got some Greek yogurt. Sam did a rough chop on this uh, oregano. And then we're going to do a little salt and pepper and some lemon zest. When zesting lemon, it's really important to not go to the pith of the lemon. You just want to get that nice little top skin off right there. Oregano and lemon is very delicious together. Juice into the, into the uh, sauce as well. Gotcha. Just going to scrape with a knife here. Get it all on the blade. What you got there? He's probably got about a half tablespoon. Just get it right zest. in there like that. Half lemon. Watch out for the seeds. That's why you, use, you can use your hand as a filter. That's fine. Yep, just use your hand, sieve out those 
seeds. Next we're going to add our pink Himalayan, Himalayan salt, about half of a teaspoon, and just a dash of pepper. We're going to go ahead and blend this up. That right there is not only a healthy sauce, but it's full of flavor. Now we're going to take our citrus yogurt sauce, and we're going to dump it into the carrots and red slaw. Get a spatula, this job's going to be a lot easier. And we're just going to mix. Incorporate it all together here, do some little twisties. And boom, that's exactly what we're looking for. But it's always me and never you I cry myself asleep sometimes It seems to ease my mind I got no friends to call And that's what hurts me most of all And the friends that I have, they don't show their face So I glance back Alright, on to our salsa. So for our salsa, what we're going to do is we're going to roast two Fresnos and a hatch green chili. These are from Hatch, New Mexico, and they're fresh in season. If you've never had these, they're amazing. So what we're gonna do is toss these in a little bit of olive oil. So you got a little bit in there. And a little bit of salt. So when we roast these in the oven, what you're doing is bringing out a lot of the sweetness in the pepper and uh, kind of some of the, the earthy notes. And we're gonna get the skin off of there. Also, I'm going to roast a bell pepper, uh, which we've deseeded. We've taken the seeds out of this because this is going to go into our slaw, and we want to roast these along with our other peppers and toss all these together in that oil. With the Fresnos and the Hatch chili, we're going to leave the seeds in, and into the oven we go. It's set on broil right now. So all these, just want to get them nice evenly spaced so they can all get charred, get that nice skin um, char, and then we go to the oven. High broil, baby. Way to do things around here. Now that our peppers are nice and roasted coming out of the oven, we're going to skin them. Looking for that nice dark caramelization over the top there. You want to definitely get all this skin off of here. Yeah, so we're going to do that to all these peppers. Those are our red pepper, our red bell for the uh, bean salad, and then we have the Fresnos and Hatch chilies over here. So I'm going to let Sam finish those up. And then we're going to get moving on our uh, vinaigrette for our bean salad. So here's our cooked beans that we cooked for about an hour, 45 minutes in salted water. And then next for our vinaigrette, we have equal parts uh, white wine vinegar. And we're going to do olive oil as well. So for this vinaigrette, we're going to use shallot. You could use onion if you wanted. And I'm just going to cut it into three small planks once again. And this is what we're looking for right here. We're going to go ahead and take our beans. We already have in a nice tossing bowl. Go ahead Sam's and throw, throw those red in. pepper inside there. For these shallots, I'm going to get nice strips. And what I want to do is uh, dice these down real small. Technically, you could go as large as you want. We're going to get a nice fine dice on these. This salad is real simple, but it's got a lot of flavor. The rest of our shallot. That's gonna go straight into the white wine vinegar. And then we're gonna do a couple sprigs of cilantro. Be really delicate with it. Uh, it's a real sensitive herb, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of lightly bunch it and give it a real quick chiffonade. Trying to let the knife do all the work. You don't want to bruise the uh, leaves. Just get a nice quick cut on those. So that is gonna go into our bean salad. And then next, we're going to go a little olive oil, equal parts olive oil, and the white wine vinegar. So we've got about three ounces there. For a good consistency. Of the olive oil. You could also add like a little bit of sugar or honey, sweeten this up. We're not going to go that route, we're just going to keep it real simple. And we're going to add a dash of Himalayan salt. Yeah, definitely want to season. We're going to dash, that. of course, pepper. There's pepper. Let me try that out real quick. And then the last thing for this vinaigrette, or for this uh, bean salad, is we have some 
little yellow grape tomatoes. And we're just going to cut them straight in half, just like that, boom. So I'm going to add a little bit more salt and pepper, actually. I'm going to toss all this together. Like, get a little yellow balls of joy. We decided to use baby yellow tomatoes because they're a tad bit more bitter and have a better flavor contrast for the bean salad, and that's what we're looking for right there today. Boom, right into the dish. And actually, I'm going to add a little bit more cilantro. Hold up. Oh, yeah, it's got a nice, veritable efficiency of color in there. Let's try these out. Looks really good. Get a little bit of everything in there, a little bit of pepper, shallot. Superb. That was perfect. That is what we're looking for. It's a very well balanced salad. Not too salty, not too bitter, not too sweet. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Said I'll take a walk down with dead in Rome. Leave this body, I leave this soul. Said I'll take All right, on to our roasted peppers. We're gonna make a little roasted pepper and uh, roasted garlic sauce, a little bit of tomato for the topping of our lettuce wraps. So, like I said earlier, we're gonna leave most of those seeds in there when we puree it, uh, keep it nice and hot, nice and spicy. Keep it nice and spicy. And just get rid of as much of that skin as you can. Now we're going to start blending our roasted garlic and Fresno sauce. We're going to go in with the peppers and a little bit of roasted garlic. About two ounces of tomato sauce. You can use canned or you can make your own. And then about an ounce of olive oil. All that goes into the blender. Add a little bit of salt to taste. We're going to use a little bit of Himalayan pink salt in this instance. And then puree. There you have it. Real simple, real delicious. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pulse our ingredients for our marinade. It's uh, six to ten large garlic cloves, depending on the size. A uh, rough chop of green onion, about a half of a cup. A one-eighth cup rough chopped cilantro, one-half cup olive oil. One large lemon, fully squeezed. Two limes, two serranos, and about a tablespoon of salt. Got onion vision. All right, so what I have here is the chicken that we've marinated for the last two days. You could even go longer. The longer you go, the more flavor it soaks up. All right, now that we're at a grill, the grill's preheated to 600 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. We got our marinated chicken here. Pull the juice off a little bit. We're just gonna sit it right there. Bam! See that? That is what we're looking for. That is the glory shot right there. Fire is actually what we're looking for here. Boom. I'm just going to let that burrow. I'm going to let that go. Now we're ready to flip these back ones. Perfect. Dang. Same. Beautiful caramelization. That is what we're looking at. Look at that right there. That is exactly what we're looking for. Noise syrification. Noise syrification. Now we're going to pull our second string of chicken off which is about three minutes behind the first. It's about a 30% reduction in size. Six minutes, three minutes each side. Put them right there on the plate. These are perfect breasts, juicy, tender. Oh man, these are gonna go great with tonight's dish.
Now we're gonna be plating tonight's dish. This is butter lettuce. It's very, very sweet, very delicious, very organic. So we're gonna take here a little bit of these beans. Looking so pretty like over here. Oh yeah. Delicious, delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and set it on the side like that. We're gonna go ahead and add our slaw, about probably about an ounce or so into this just right there. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, lettuce wrap with the roasted pepper sauce. We're gonna take the Oaxacan cheese over here and we're gonna hit it with the beans. We have a butter lettuce grilled chicken wrap with a yogurt citrus slaw. Next to that, we got a little bit of cold bean salad and a little bit of Oaxacan cheese on top. If I know that when I get out of the gym, I eat like this, because that's how I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hero, praise, and everybody loves the Sam.